so many people have come to the home of the Gardis to pay respect uh, after Hilary Gardi was murdered. Our um, Justice Minister Ronald Lamola is there. Let's listen. It's very sad news for, for the whole country. And um, it brings again to, to the, for the challenges of gender-based violence, um, the violence against women and children which um, is becoming endemic in our country, which needs um, all of us to put our hands together to respond to the matter and also for the criminal justice system to attend to the uh, tragedy. And um, hopefully the perpetrators of the crime will be arrested, they will be prosecuted, and justice will take its course. Sir, let me just a question for myself here, Minister Jones. Um, what is the latest development in regards to the case? Do you understand what's going on? And secondly, Minister, gender-based violence is a serious pandemic in this country. Are we losing the fight against gender-based violence? Yeah, on the investigation, as you are aware, I cannot uh, comment. I do not think that as a nation we should uh, throw our hands in despair that we are losing the fight against gender-based violence. To win the fight is in the hands of all of us um, society because these criminals are born and bred and they live within ourselves. They are known by someone in the community and in society. We have to cooperate with the police, work together also with the NPA to ensure that the, the perpetrators of the crime are brought to book and um, where there are suspicions and um, challenges because um, we were in an uh, imbizo today in Caroline where the communities raised suspicions and um, allegations of corruptions uh, within the police, within the um, traffic officials, within the National Prosecuting Authority. Such must also be reported so that the um, society and the system must be able to approve all those corrupt elements within the SAPS, within the prosecuting authority, so that society can have trust and confidence to report a crime as and when it occurs, and also that that trust deficit within the criminal justice system and government and the society as a whole can be breached to enable the system to function. You need witnesses uh, on any matter. You need people to participate in the system. Hence, we need all role players to, to play a role. So in that regard, I do believe that the South Africans remains committed because people uh, get convicted in our courts. We almost have a 74% conviction rate on matters of gender-based violence and some of these violence crimes that are happening. And uh, some of you have reported on a number of them where there has been convictions on these heinous crimes. The issue is that uh, the message must be sent clear and unambiguous that this kind of uh, incidents will not be tolerated. Just a question for me, Minister. This is Conrad from Newsroom Africa. Um, I understand that you came to visit the family as a former colleague. What did you have to say to them as a justice minister? Yeah, obviously I can't take leave from the fact that I'm the Minister of Justice. I have um, stated to the family, sending my condolences to them and um, to the entire community in Pumalanga and in um, Bombela in particular because this kind of message, uh, this kind of um, incident has sent shockwaves to everyone in the area. That um, with the help and the work of everyone, these uh, perpetrators can be arrested, they can be brought to book within the criminal justice system and um, the law must take its course. Is the issue of corruption within the police force a concern to the fact that it also delays justice? I mean, what we saw is not just a crime, it's a heinous crime, and someone lost um, their loved one. It's quite concerning as well. Yeah, obviously it was raised uh, today when we had an imbizo in Caroline as a matter of concern. Uh, members of the community raising it as, a, as an issue that um, deters them from um, uh, working or reporting some of the criminal um, elements happening within their society. But um, we have uh, raised it that it's important that um, they, if such incidences are known within the police or within the 
the national prosecuting authorities. They should be reported. There must be investigation. Such people must be arrested. And the law even must take its course, irrespective of whether a person is a member of the SAPS or of the NPA, so that society can um, rebuild the trust in the institutions aimed to, to fight crime. And it's only when there is that trust that um, there will be good cooperation within the entire circle of the criminal justice system. So I do believe that uh, we will be able to turn the corner and justice will prevail even on this matter. Just a family spokesperson, the minister being here, had an important minister in this case. What do you have to say as a family? No, we welcome uh, the minister and the gesture that uh, is extended to the Cardi family. It's extremely appreciated. And it's an affirmation that we are not enemies uh, with the members of the ANC. They are here to extend their heartfelt condolences, and we appreciate that. We appreciate the words of comfort, and uh, we've taken that uh, to heart, and uh, we're extremely humbled that uh, the minister has been able to take time out of his diary to come and extend his condolences. So the family is appreciative of all of this. We've thanked people across the political sector, NGOs, messages from the country and the continent, and this is part and parcel of the compassion which uh, we appreciate as a family. And it's nearing close that 72 hour deadline. Any word from the police? Anything? What is your feeling now with regards to arrest in May? There has been no update from the South African Police Services and uh, we'll leave it at that. We'll await an update uh, as it comes and update you as well. Thanks, colleagues. Thank you. Don't hide. Well, Sally, there we go. Um, as we've just spoken to the family spokesperson, Sinawa Tambo, and of course he was joined by the Minister of Justice, Ron Lamula. The message we're getting yet is that there isn't no update from the police yet as to how far the investigations are. And as the 72-hour deadline nears closer, there seems to be no arrest that has been made thus far. But um, the, the Minister of Justice there, Ron Lamula, making it quite clear that you know the nation shouldn't um, you know give up and give up hope on on their program and instant and rather mission to fight yeah. against gender-based violence. Um, it is a problem that continues to persist in many of our communities. You remember just earlier this year, the president you know, had said that they had signed you know, some legislative laws into, into power to ensure right. and fight okay. the, 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 the issue of gender-based violence as mm. well that has been ensuing in most of these communities. So that's just a briefing we just got from the, uh, the, the, the Minister of, of Justice, Ronald Namola, and of course the spokesperson Person, um, speaking on behalf of the family from the EFS in our time, but just a moment ago. Yeah, and as you say, Apule, it's disheartening that police have not got anything uh, to tell us. And of course, we know that Hilary Gardy will be laid to rest on Saturday. Thank you very much for bringing us that update.